Oh wow. Ooh, distilled tears of Isha. That's actually really kinda cool. I even probably know the story behind that one. Because Isha is one of the technically two Elder Gods still alive other than Cain. Because Cain's not really alive. Cain got split. Sigorak is just laughing and has the heart And Isha's just in Nurgle's dungeon. Because she's the god of health and Nurgle thinks that's funny. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious. It's also the possibility that Isha is Nurgle. Because Isha was the goddess of rebirth. It's be funny, all the Chaos Gods are actually the uh, Lord Gods. Because it is implied that Nurgle is just the god of essentially recycling, but he's messed up. Him and Tazinch are supposed to work in conjunction. Tazinch creates new life, or Nurgle ends it, just as a cycle. But Nurgle wants to keep his his bit going and stop Tazinch's. I'm just making this mission the not use other units, just upgrade the heroes mission. Yeah. I need to check Ellis's range damage when I get back. See if it's any see if it's decent. He doesn't smash the ground, he just swings his sword and <laughs> giant stalagmites erupt. Or stalactites. Whichever ones. Giant ground rocks. Ground rocks. <laughs> I like the Varus is the, f <laughs> the fastest of us. It's like, I got this. Well, now I'm not sure if I want that, um, that Biospear or if I have the Distilled Tears of Isha. We'll see what level it is. Yeah. But that was a purple Biospear. So I'm not sure if whatever the game gives me can be any better. FFFAM15 entered channel. I guess the only other option is just making sure our. <laughs> making sure our, um, our Predator tanks can do, like, anything with all the upgrades. Supplication of the Noise Marines required. What's that gonna do? We already have the Noise Marines completely upgraded. Somehow they get a super secret upgrade that no one knows about. Hey, you, you two guys gonna join in the fight? I would if my thing would like cooperate. It keeps like randomly not selecting one or more of them.
Man, oh, new guard. Plasma gun. I think Kane might have a new gun. <laughs> do you, I don't even know what what is. What does Kane do with a plasma gun? I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? If it's like the um, Lord General or Merrick, he probably gets a like a super AOE uh, overcharge shot. Blessing of the Dark Gods. Course of the Damned. Distilled Tears of Isha. On hit, increase the damage enemy units take. Blessed Relic said to propel filth mixed with the collected tears of the Cajun maiden upon whom Grandfather Nurgle compels his many, his many horrific maladies. For such, for much as the dead cells of the virus may grant proof against disease, perhaps too can the fallen tears of the goddess of healing grant proof against their cure. I forgot, yeah. <laughs> because she's the goddess of healing, she can't die from a disease, so Nurgle just tests everything on her. 100% chance per hit to heal all nearby allies. Uh, Flux, I like the look of that plasma gun. 200 and some odd damage per shot. Charge shot, charges up the plasma gun to deliver an even larger superheated ball of plasma. Okay, look into the, um, look at the boss spear. Tell me its damage. Um, it does 30 straight up damage. I'm going to actually put it on Varus and see how his damage changes. His damage jumps from 39 to 48. Okay, well this one has 42 damage. That's on more hits flat of... damage. On hit three, uh, I'm grabbing the vial. Bylas Cometis. More movements be on various. <laughs> oh, where's the Mark of Corn? If we do that, we can start getting those champions to be actually useful. Those Space Marine squads are actually useful. Uh, How about that? Nah, that's a long way to go to get their aspiring champion and stuff. Okay. Still Tears of Isha. <clears throat> Actually, it's kind of a tough choice between the plasma guns. 68. Oh, that seems so much better. Because I'm looking here. Plasma gun is range damage 238. Attack speed 3. Reduces armor. When hit by a ranged weapon, 100% chance to heal all nearby allies for 5 health. But he does like 400 and something damage with the Doom Bolter for his total range damage. And he gets sight radius and um, proximity increases damage. Suppression, suppression, scatter damage, proximity. Huh. That's a weird thing for for a heavy bolter. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. Proximity increases damage. I guess that's where the extra uh, two hundred some odd damage off of that came from. Oh, well, yeah, no. Of course, the damage is useful. Useless. Just makes enemies retreat. Ugh. Can we get rid of it? No. Damn it. No, I'm gonna take the plasma gun on a mission and see how how well it works out. And if it turns out to be crap, I'll get rid of it. And if it's good, I'll keep it. The distilled tears of a god. It should be amazing. Why? Be keeping it or recycling it. <laughs> We're getting rid of it. Okay, leveled up. There you go. When moving, he now knocks back and damages the enemy infantry. Officially allows him to equip light grenades. Who even has those? No one has those. Reduces incoming range damage and spread infection to nearby infantry. <laughs> Mourn. See? <laughs> More plague. Why well, was this not meant to just be a pure Nurgle army? Okay. If that's the case, then I'm definitely bringing the um, plasma gun, because then he'll be closer to... Um, Infantry so you can spread the plague more than with the polter. 
but the bullet was the thing that increases damage with proximity. Yes, but... <laughs> we are. Oh, it's an activated ability, Cloud of Flies. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I think the thing with Kane is that he's supposed to be, um... Yeah, I think he's supposed to be a champion who's yet to choose his allegiance. And each level, each of these is a different acknowledgement of an allegiance. Except for Slash, because this game just completely forgets about Slash. Don't they always? Just... Oh, Dawn and Wargames just are like Slash, who, nah, he's not interested in this. Especially not when it deals with an outer craft world. Nah, he doesn't care. Okay, do you want to do the escort mission? Yeah, let's do it. Get out of the way. Question is, what do we want to grab off of this? The, uh... The war gear or the warp? The war gear? But I don't use blood letters at all. Fair enough. They're annoying. They're melee units. Alpha should be the melee guy. And I don't believe you can do any. You can't control the ones that you summon with the shrines. And even then, the annoying thing about warp is it takes like five seconds to charge up. You charge up and then teleport a long distance. It's not like instant. The other inter uh, better thing about the plasma gun, I think, a little is it'll actually be able to do more damage to vehicles and heavy infantry. It's very really nice that the ship still has lights on working. It is nice. It's not like every other Space Hulk out there where the lights are just completely dead and you have to walk around with fucking uh, lights on your fucking armor. Uh, it's probably that mech boy. So, the uh, first thing I'm going to do here is fix up this light situation. Fix the set up dang, dang lights. I can't see the box without the lights. Thing. Then I'm gonna set up a home thing. Oh, labor good. You're, engine. That's a you're controlling the labor engine. That's good. I don't know why we have a labor engine, but I think the ship gave it to us, actually. Yeah. No, if I remember correctly, they will try to uh, flank you. Yeah, they will, especially in that big middle area. And then the final area at the hold that I actually had to do this mission twice before. Why does the labor engine have guns on it? Um, because it's based on the um, guardsman transport vehicle. Good thing is, um, various can repair, which is weird. Also, I do, I, I do remember we're going to want a lot. We're going to want anti vehicle because there will be shit tons of Carnifaxes. Carnifaxes are vehicle. They're heavy infantry, I'm going to Either way, we, we want we want Havocs. Actually, no, we don't want Havocs. We want the... Um... Oh, we can't do the Dreadnought without a Citadel. God, this is the one mission that will give you a Citadel. So yeah, we're gonna... We're There'll gonna always be a cell for all missions go up, coming up, so excess. All except for the fucking Judgment of Carrion, because this one mission decided to be a dick and decide, you know, let's throw, like... 10 Carnifaxes at a dude at them and then not let them have it. And I, we completely forgot that um, that point back there. Yeah, we should probably grab that. Yeah, don't don't send it in the next room yet. Too late, here they come. Defend it. I'll send Kane back. I'm sorry. This is infantry. Various has this. It's cool. Welcome back, Kane. We have friendly Tyranid buddies. To make sure you break all the boxes. Yeah, well. Yeah, they're gonna come from this direction, but they're gonna mostly come for those two bridges. And then we have to hold up in the next room, they're gonna come from all sides in there.
Pick this boxes. So the guardsmen were a lot more um, useful because they could actually plop bunkers down. What? The guardsmen. Uh, well, they're, well, they're very uh, first global abilities. I think their second one is the ability to just build bunkers. And in this map, that was amazing because you could put bunkers down to just fill them with heavy infantry. We had our noise marines. Havocs. Okay. Yeah, I can't even control these blood layers. No, no there'd be no use to get in that warp and money. Bring in the labor engine. I want chaos of us to accept help from big metal boxes. I've got twenty seconds. Is this those heretics can, can heal the um, metal box? That is a good thing. Why does the computer talk like Snape? Keep various downs. But technically, since they're worship shrines, should be summoning blood crushers. Maybe it's a chance to do it. Put Kane northeast. Where the guys came out. <laughs> the combination of our knockback just sent them flying. Keep no. Hang on. Yeah, hang actually, on. Yeah, that works. And flies. Yeah. Keep Kane on the um on the pipe. Yeah. Not on the um bridge. I love this can do the bridge. Oh, actually, up everyone. He's only taking one. Coming from the back, coming far. from the back. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> well, they're gone. Varys had that. That was the Carnifax spawning. Yeah. 
come to the office. He, he's got it. He's very subtle at the crack's going. I love when they just keep coming through and various like, ah, oh, infection, infection, infection. <laughs> and they're all now now chaos so they all get worship powers. Oh, hey, I didn't. I forgot this level. This, these guys. Hi. Okay. Just upgrade everything on every. Getting a crap ton of rendition. Labor engine doesn't even get a scrap. Oh, Jesus! I didn't see those them coming out, come down southeast. thing is I think if I worship to Zinch, these um all these shrines just become turrets. And Nurgle just heals up everyone. Not a bad and way to go. And Sunesh just sits in the line because <laughs> This game is just relegated so much to this tiny corner. You give noise marines, that's all you do! Oh those warriors live just a few seconds longer. There we go. There was a kind of fix because I don't see one. Uh, I know that's the direction it comes from when it does spawn. I just forgot this massive fucking wave of enemies just starts coming. Game's just being nice to us because I swear I'd already fought like two Carnifaxes by this point in the fucking holdout. Last time I did this, like just the other week. They brave the miasma and strike my flesh. Get the labor engine out of here. Bear in mind there'll be another holdout at the exit point. Labor engine, what are you doing? Hey, Ranger. No, you fool. <laughs> Stop exposing yourself to enemy fire. I'm gonna get over here. I <laughs> they all just move away when, from their worship. So those havocs out there have just given up on life. They're just waiting right there.
Well, hey, you guys are trying to come through, actually. And Varys says no. There's the Carnifex. Hey, bud. <laughs> How about you just 1v1 Eliphas? And all he's turning said Varys brings. I'm sad I cannot clone it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Multi Melta hurts it. Yeah, it's a vehicle. Just make everything burn. One lone tyranid just over here, like, don't, don't attack me. These guys up in the look at the guys up here, the heretics. They just keep doing up their um, their thing up on the vents, <laughs> and the grenade launchers are just shooting at them. <laughs> Final gift Final. of the dark gods. Yep. Customize the currently selected squad. What does it give? It's frankly, both of your guys have an awesome weapon at this point. No, nope, it goes, it goes to Alphys. It always no. goes to Alphys. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No. Varus gets a power fist. King gets a last cannon. Nareth gets a staff. I think it goes to Alphys. So like. <laughs> Bear in mind, if you give it to Eliphas, I am putting that sword on Kane. Just for the Why, Kane pure is like guy. goof of it. No. Oh. We check. It does less damage, okay. I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you not to give it to him. It does give him a decent amount of armor, but nah. Free XPs. Yay. You, you, you don't even begin to understand the seething rage right now, Flux. <laughs> okay, we got new armor. Let's check how each person looks in it. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Nareth gets double arms. Nareth looks kind of pimping now. <laughs> and Kane. Kane just Kane's keeps on keeping on. on. Yeah, because Kane already has high level armor. Various, various spikes get larger. Spike egg. And his emblem changes just to just the um, plague bringer's emblem. Um, it's increased weapon range. Do you want uh, that on? Honestly, that probably works better on Kane. Yeah. And then we can give the portion of the health to Nareth so he has some more survivability and some more armor. Because he doesn't need on hit attacker suppression. <laughs> but you, you might want to give you might want to give that to Varus, because then everything that attacks Varus gets suppressed. Varus already has amazing health regen though. And Varus already suppresses everything he attacks. Okay. So I think we should it looks like it has it has a better armor rating than uh, Armor of the Immortal. Yeah, 25 health regen is really nice. Uh, um, I guess, yeah. There we go. Do we get rid of that bolter now? That heavy yeah. bolter? There he is, leveled up. There we go. Fr frankly, the the the, uh, the charge shot on the plasma gun is actually pretty nice. A thick cloud of flies around various, largely negating small arms fire and spreading infection. He's now essentially a heavy infantry or like a vehicle, <laughs> because flies take the bullet for him. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, I just and realized the back of Merith's um, cloak got uh, an upgrade as well. Yeah, he now has two hands on each no, side. No, look on the back of his actual cloak behind yeah. his legs. It's got a uh, Chaos Star pattern on it now. Let me see what it used to be. Oh, huh, was it always that? That Terminator armor. No. What was that him? No. Okay, Aurelia. Aurelia. A little upgrade to Chaos Dreadnoughts one last time then. Are you sure? What else are you gonna put on the do you gonna up do you want the the Chaos Predators to be more damage be more tank? I think we want them to be more damage. And we already have the mark of corn. Yeah, that's true. It's just we never used the claws. <laughs> I don't know. A group with missile launchers and a group with claws could be really nice. Mm, sure. I believe the claws are really good shredder shredders. I can do this mission in the next one that I'm going to call it. Um... Let's call it after this one then, because I think there's only two missions after this one. Perimeter breach. Intruders at checkpoint Tertius. All forces to arms. Gun them down. Bring their flesh to the keep. I'll Quick, send out the AT -AT -S. It Looks like it's smiling a little. <laughs> Hello. I'm scouting today. <laughs> Look at the flies. Flies and fire. That's that's my team. I have flies too if I wanted to. I have them passively. Actually I think that's I think that's what I'm doing. I'm just passively doing um Kane's ability. Yeah, you're right, reduced incoming rain damage and spread infection. Yeah, you are, look at Kane. <laughs> Puny. <laughs> you think you you trying to join Nargo? I have always been Nargo. So much fly. I don't think that's how you hold a heavy weapon heavy weapons, dude. You don't What are you doing? I don't know. What what, what the there. fuck? Get out of there, Sydney. <laughs> Why did they go in there? I didn't even click on it. So focus fire. Hi, you here. Mm -hmm. I wanted the explanation for we're suddenly turning on him. I think Elvis is grumpy. Do you think? Probably. You serve the Emperor, he says, totally being chaos. No, they did point out there are some loyalists still. Oh, I forgot, I meant I meant to use